I had a really interesting conversation yesterday on my radio show, The Truth of Girls, on AmericanFreedomRadio.com um, with um, Scott from Believers Underground. He has a YouTube channel here called Believers Underground. Now, what we were talking about was the earthquake, uh, earthquakes, in particular the one in Chile, and um, some, uh, some other things. Um, how can I put this? Scott will explain it much better than I ever could. He, he, he looks a little bit like Billy Bob and he talks a little bit like Tommy Chong, but he's really, really smart. He's amazing. He knows a lot about science and he explains it really, really well. And he'll tell you some things that you won't hear in the mainstream and that actually make a lot of sense. So basically, it's, it's called post-glacial rebound. Um, back in the 1950s, um, the U.S. and other governments uh, did tests where they exploded nuclear weapons in our atmosphere. Okay, I'm not sure what part of the atmosphere. Um, and I'm sorry, I, you know, you get to have to check with Scott for the, all the facts. Please go see his videos. Um, so what happened was they, they put all this radioactive waste uh, in our atmosphere. And um, it, it's, it's, of course, you know, falling. Uh, they also made holes in the ozone layer with HARP. Uh, and other things, and um, so w what? What's happening now is we do not have global warming. This has been, you know, this has come out recently. There hasn't been any warming in the last 15 years. Uh, the data was fraudulent, as was shown by leaked emails from the IPCC, and and the guy who made the hockey stick graph. I can't remember his name now, but he said he was a terrible record keeper and that there hadn't been warming in 15 years. I always forget that guy's name. Anyway. Um, so, okay, no warming, yet the ice caps are melting. Okay, that, that's, that's really happening. The glaciers are melting. The reason they're melting is from this nuclear fallout, this radioactive material that is, um, it's, it's up there now, and, it, and it's melting the ice. And um, you hear a lot about the sea level rising. Strange thing is you may have noticed that, you know, you'll hear about islands that are being inundated, but you don't hear about the sea encroaching on the Pacific and Atlantic coastlines for some reason, right? Seems a bit strange. Well, what's going on, apparently, according to this um, post-glacial post rebound uh, theory, is that these polar ice caps are melting because of the radiation, uh, which is displacing water, and this water has a lot of weight. And this is actually pressing down on the sea floor, which is like a kind of sponge. Uh, so a couple things are happening, that the, the sea floor is going down, and the islands are actually sinking. The water's not coming up, the islands are going down. And as well, uh, this being like a kind of sponge, this is, this is being depressed and also it's displacing land. So there, there's actually land being pushed up on coastlines. This is causing, among other things, earthquakes uh, because it's, it, the way Scott explained it was that under the sea, under the ground, are these like pipelines for gas and oil and magma. And so when you start to put pressure on them, things will be pushed and you'll have uh, plates moving and causing earthquakes. And you'll also have magma being, being forced up, so you have volcanoes erupting. And he pointed out that when this quake happened in Chile, they, they gained a substantial amount of coastline, apparently. Um, so things get displaced, ground comes up in, uh, in some places, and, it, and it's also sinking in others. And I think this is a really amazing explanation. Actually, it makes a lot of sense to me, not being a scientist or anything, but it, it would account for why the caps are melting, although there is no global warming. And another aspect of this, oh, and for why the islands are being flooded while the coastlines are not, because, look, go to Venice Beach and you'll see. Uh, last time I was there, it was a while ago, but, you know, it was the same as it had been for a long time. The, the uh, tides are not coming in further, apparently. Um, this is something that's just happening to islands. And there's another aspect of this is the chemtrails. Okay, we don't know what is going on, why they keep spraying, they keep spraying, is it just a mess with our heads, our agriculture, are they giving us a swine flu? A much more logical explanation, um, I'll show you a link to a document, they're talking about aerosols and the purposes that aerosols serve. Uh, in, well, in cloud formation and, and other things that are happening in the atmosphere, and one thing they do is they do deflect radiation. So the, the cloud cover that's been created with the chemtrails can also serve as a kind of radiation shield. Um, I'll let you read the article, or the document, actually, it's a PDF. Um, so 
it, it all it all does make sense. What what makes really no sense is why would people who are you know admitted nature worshippers and depopulationists why why would they do such extensive damage to our planet and then provide solutions like chemtrails which they won't admit to correct a problem that they caused you know they live here as well so aren't they being affected by the stuff did they do this intentionally or were they just stupid and they thought they could blow up radioactive stuff in the atmosphere and nothing would happen or did they do it on purpose do they know what they're doing to, to precipitate this kind of damage so that then they can blame it on us and say that we breathe too much you know, like, you got to wonder, can they really think that far ahead? Are they, you know, that, like, omnipotent and omniscient, you know? That they can look down the road and say, well, this, this is what we're going to do in six years. Or did they just screw up really badly? And now they're trying to remedy the damage. But as um, Scott said, it's like a woman who's gone into labor and the water is broken. And it's completely out of control. So it, it, you got to check out, again, Believers Underground right here on YouTube. The guy's awesome. And... Um, yeah, it looks like things are, are going to, you know, be only getting worse when it comes to extreme weather. And it's not, you know, climate change. It's not like anthropogenic global warming, but it is anthropogenic climate change. But it's not us doing it here now. It's already been done, you know, 50, 60 years ago. And we're only getting the repercussions of it now. Anyway, it's a big mess. Go check it out.